Hey guys, welcome to F&G Whiskey. Today we've got some Booker's Pinky's Batch. Hey guys, welcome back to F&G Whiskey. So today we've got Booker's Pinky's Batch. Now, I have a love-hate relationship with Booker's. I used to absolutely love it. Every time I would get a bottle, I'd be, be blown away with what I got. And um, then I think it was like Ronnie's batch that I got. And I all it was was barrel spice. It had no flavor, didn't blow me away. And I was like, oh, I just spent, you know, these usually come in about a hundred bucks after tax. And I was like, I just spent a hundred bucks on something that I want to mix. Like I don't even want to drink. So uh, these are so hard to find here in Colorado for me that when I find them, I usually buy them because usually there were more than better than bad. So, um, yeah, excited to try this pinkies batch. Um, I've already had a few pours of it. I think this bottle is very unique. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. So typical bookers, I get kind of that nutty smell. Uh, but I'm also getting some sort of like pepper, like a, a hot pepper. Getting a sense of uh, vanilla and barrel spice. Not a lot of vanilla, maybe just like a sweetness. So I could say like a little bit of sugar or something like that. It's definitely interesting. That pepper I feel is, is there and very prevalent. Let's get into it. So yeah, kind of just how I remember. On the front of the palate, there's this like sweetness, um, really delicate. It's like delicate on the front. Um, I get kind of that barrel spice that I that I got on Ronnie's batch that that's all it was. And then as it fades back, it goes into that pepper. And what I kind of remember is that with this, this bottle, because normally whenever I, I pour a pour, it's usually about two ounces. And I sit there and I, I try to dig at it. And what I kind of, what I discovered about this particular batch is if I sipped on it and didn't think about it, the pepper was was very uh, balanced. Like it didn't overpower the pour. But when I took a drink and really dissect it, that pe pepperness, that pepper, that spiciness almost got where I didn't enjoy it. So if you just tip this up, and swallow it down, I feel like it's a very balanced bourbon. But if you sit there and you try to di dissect it, you're gonna get that pepper overpowering towards the, the mid palate. Because at the front of the palate, there's a vanilla sweetness. Very, very sweetness. But then when it rolls into that pepper, it's, it's very unique. It's very spicy. And um, I don't think I've ever had a bourbon that was this pepper forward. And uh, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I think it's definitely unique. But um, yeah, definitely don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. Yeah. When I just drink it, don't dissect it. It's a really enjoyable pour. I really enjoy just how it goes across the tongue. It's not ultra vi viscous or anything. Um, I mean, this is coming in at 61.2, so that's 122.4 proof, and it's six years, 10 months, and 10 days. So, um, yeah, definitely unique. Like I said, the barrel spice, that peppery note is, is definitely unique. Let's let's check the, uh, the palette, or I mean the finish. So right after the, the pepper, you get some of that barrel spice and some of that like cinnamon and it's very nice. It lingers on the tongue. Um, so the finish is, I would say medium to long. And uh, this definitely doesn't drink to me at 124 proof. I had some other high proof bourbons here before, but this is the highest one I've had. And it definitely doesn't scream proof to me. 
So in that aspect, I would say it's, it's pretty decent. If you enjoy spicy bourbon, I think that you, this is up your alley. This is something you definitely want to try. If you're not into spicy bourbon and you like more sweet, then I don't know if you would necessarily enjoy it. So I did pull up a review here just to see what they got. So they didn't really go into too much on the nose. But all the tasting notes, they have... Okay, here it is. Caramel chocolate. I didn't get any chocolate. Vanilla, peanut butter, cinnamon, nutmeg, and pepper. Finish is moderately long with cocoa, oak, and a bit of pepper. Okay, yeah, I, me and this guy's palate are way off. Um, he's not getting near the pepper that I got on this. Now, this is a batch, so these should be pretty similar in flavor. So the fact that he got, you know, chocolate and vanilla and peanut butter... I, I might have got a little bit of that peanut butter, but I feel like the pepper on this really dominates. I feel like it goes from like a vanilla sugar to that heavy pepper, and then it kind of tames off with some spice, some barrel spice. So me and this guy have a you know, little different palate, but you know, I think everybody's palate's a little bit different. I'm sure I, if I gave this to my wife, she'd spit it out and say it's horrible. So uh, yeah, um, definitely an interesting pour. Is it worth $100? I don't think that Booker's anymore is a great value. It's one of those things where if you're just going to shell out the dough, you got to shell out the dough. Um, I've had some that are absolutely amazing. I've had some that were meh. I had, I think, I think it's Ronnie's batch. I hate to bash this one too hard, but it, to me, it was just a one dimensional, dimensional bourbon and I really didn't enjoy it. So uh, like, comment, subscribe. As I always say, we're trying to build a sense of community here. So a sense of commu uh, whiskey community. And uh, yeah, keep searching for that perfect pour.